Hi, Electra. Welcome in. Hi, Keelan. Welcome in. I knew you'd want a second date, surely. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. I don't have anybody else, you know? Guys, everybody clock in. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes, because I want to stall. I love stalling. Also, my mod view isn't working. But hi, guys. Okay, hey, seriously, why isn't mod view working? Wait. It's working, and now I can see chat. Because <laughs> before I could only see it in OBS. Okay, can you guys hear me okay? Time one if you can hear me. I'll wait like two more minutes. One? Okay, cool. I'm trying a different audio mixing today. I mean, it's nothing like too crazy different, but... So, did you guys get some Valentine treats for me? Hmm? My presence is your Valentine's treat? I'll be honest, that's kind of mid. Okay. Guys, I have a really good bit planned for today. I want you guys to pog out of your minds, okay? I better see some peace I2 gasping, some snickering. A lot of work went into today. And by work, I mean, like, three hours. That could have taken two. But I got distracted by Tic Tac. Okay, 30 seconds and I'll turn face cam on. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. Okay, I lied. Wait, is it almost at 10 minutes up 10? Okay, I've been stalling long enough. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Hi, guys. I'm live. It's Wednesday, February 14th, a very special day. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, who's single? Type 1. <laughs> 
Okay, and I'm still like, I kind of want to just jump into it today, so I'm not going to look at chat. I do have a script written, because, you know, this is going to be for YouTube, so everybody say, hi, YouTube. Okay, I I'm not looking. Not looking at you guys today. Okay. I think I got it. It is once again that time of year when you're constantly reminded that you're single and lonely, and I guess if you're watching right now, you don't have a date, but don't worry, me neither. This will be the third annual date I've gone on with Jet, and I have something very special planned for today. I'm not gonna leak, but let me just say, you best get start to packing your suitcases. You know what, actually, I gotta go get ready too, so I'll be right back. Once your bags were packed, you met Peason at your local airport. As you walked up, she clasped your wrist and dragged you directly to the runway, where a private jet was waiting. Guess having two phones and two laptops mean you can't afford a jet. After a long flight, you started to see land peek through the clouds. You were flying over an island. It looked deserted. Just palm trees and the only sign of civilization was a large building near the shore. Once you landed, a small crew of people helped carry your luggage as you made your way to the strange building. As you walked up, you saw a massive estate with glass windows, with room upon room. There was a pool, with a water slide, a patio, and a ten-car garage. Was this the secret Peason compound? Before settling into your room, Peason pulled you aside and asked if you wanted to have lunch together. You happily obliged and walked together along a path that ran through the foliage to the beach. And that's where today's story begins. Hi! Hope your flight went well, guys. We are here on my personal private island. Yes, this is real. This is not a green screen, see? It's real! <laughs> but hi, everybody. It is Valentine's. And you know what? I decided to go all out this year. I flew you out on my private jet. And we are here on my island. We're gonna spend the day together. How did you do that so fast? I just knocked you out. You guys have been passed out for the past 12 hours. I'm sorry. It was the only way to get you to, like, fall asleep on the plane. Hawaii? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna field trip. You guys are gonna go down here for today. So, yeah. that <laughs> That's today's bit. I thought it was so funny. Okay. <laughs> Little, like, RPG dating sim, you know? I didn't get to play one this year, so you know what? I made one. Okay, so today we are gonna have lunch on the Peace in Island. Full lunch service will be available today. Also, to anybody who cheers bits or gives subs, you can feed me chocolate. For bits, every individual cheer, you can give me some strawberry macadamia. And for every gifted sub, it'll be either a matcha or chocolate dipped macadamia. I got these from Christmas, because I have relatives who live in Hawaii, so they, they shipped them to me. So yeah, that'll be today. Where were you hiding in Hawaii all this time? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta find somewhere to put this. Okay. And then I kind of want to change the music because you know what? We are on the beach. Mm hmm. Is this Cheap Cheap Beach? No. I don't know what song this is. Okay. Let me put the mouse here. So. <laughs> I still remember when you were drowning in chocolate. You know what's funny? What's actually hilarious? I still have the box from last year, and there's still chocolate in it. I keep on forgetting to throw it away. I'll throw it away this year, because I probably shouldn't eat them. But I still have leftover from last year. <laughs> okay, was it a good bit, type one? The bit will continue on. Also, my sister got these for me. Look, look, look.
Okay, wait, where's the other one? Okay, this one only flashes. I'm not... I'm not gonna leave it on because I don't want, like, to put a flash warning on screen. But this one's cute! I'm not- I'm gonna turn it off because it's, like, too extra, you know? Okay, so... I think we can go ahead and get started with our first course. Hello, good afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and get lunch service started. So first we're gonna start off with some drinks. We have some Calypso Lemonade, fresh from the source, locally made and brewed. Got it first try. Damn, the server's kinda cute, huh? And for our appetizers today, we have shrimp cocktail, locally sourced from Trader Joe's. Enjoy. <laughs> How is this scary? I think it's so funny. You're so mean. Also, you can see how the color shift is not right. <laughs> it's because when I... <laughs> yeah, the food disappeared. RP ruined. The RP is dead. The lighting is darker because I have auto white balance on my camera. And I didn't realize that I should manually change it for these bits. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, editor, fix it in post. I didn't have time to color correct. Okay. So for appetizers, we have lemonade and shrimp cocktail. Isn't this cute? Wait, this is a good thumbnail. <laughs> I was gonna get the purple passion for lemonade, but they didn't have any. Why is it blue? Cause Hawaii, it's from the ocean. See, it matches. Cheers. It's still cold. It's been sitting out in my room for an hour. I was gonna do a seawater bit. Like, I was gonna have the way- I'm gonna go through, like, bits that I wrote and then just didn't do. I was gonna have the server pour water, and then I drink it, and then I spit water out on the server. I don't know how I would do that. <laughs> but I was like, I don't want to spit water in my room. That's so dumb. Ew, shrimp? No, shrimp is so good. It's healthy. The only bad thing about shrimp is that, like, if it has the black or gray line in it, that's literally their poop. So don't eat that. You'd have to have perfectly timed it. I know. I think I could do it. Next year? Maybe. Okay, I've never had cocktail sauce. Let's see how this is. It smells like tangy hot sauce. You know, shrimp cocktail is white people food. I've never had this. It's like a spicy marinara. It's kind of good. Not like the best though. So the shrimp have been sitting for an hour. Yeah, but they're still cold. Surprisingly, they're still cold. <laughs> you know, I didn't plan too far ahead. Okay, I have nowhere to put this. Where should I should I just should it shove it in my pocket? I don't want to put it on my desk. I have like I have a trash cup. Let me grab it. Hey, nobody look at my ass. No lookers. <laughs> okay. I have, like, this big a gap to squeeze through between this table and my laptop. And my ass is this big.
Okay, squeeze. You know, I've lost 10 pounds. I feel lighter, but... My ass is still the same size. Anyway. Time to sue? Is such a health club violation? You're from the UK. I don't think you guys even wash your hands, let alone brush your teeth. Okay. As we go on with the date, I'm going to be asking and answering some questions. These are 42 questions to ask before a serious relationship from medium.com. So, you know, I get to know you and you get to know me before we decide to continue on with this little arrangement we have. Yeah, this lemonade is pretty good. It's zooted with sugar, though. Is this how you hold a goblet? So, I'm curious. What brings you the most happiness? Go ahead and answer in the chat. I know for me, I like feeling... Er. <laughs> I know for me, I like whenever I do something, to, in my opinion, that is substantial. Whether it be drawing, streaming, being able to make something with my time brings me a lot of joy. Even if it's like something silly or if it's like in the big scheme meaningless, as long as I'm passing time doing what I enjoy, that's what makes me happy. Money? Money, money, money. Maybe we'll see a little crab on the beach. Look in the background. Um, feel free to screenshot if you see a crab. Honestly, the shrimp cocktail is pretty good. The actual cocktail sauce is too spicy, though. <laughs> it's spicy. Thank goodness I have my lemonade. Wait, acid and acid probably isn't good. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Why aren't you guys touching your cocktail? It's delicious. I spent all this money to fly you up personally. I went out of my way. All you need to do is nibble on the shrimp. Also, this is my first meal of the day. I didn't have breakfast yet. I'm not touching that shrimp. You know what? I'll make you touch it. Here, take it. Open up. Meow. <laughs> When I held that shrimp up to the camera, I got flashbacks of the NPC stream, me holding the camera up to the screen. Hey, these were frozen shrimp, but they're like, not gonna lie, pretty good. Oh, you know why the cocktail sauce is spicy? It's because it's vinegary. I don't like vinegar too much. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been wiping my hands on my pants. <laughs> it's such a bad habit I do. Okay. I'm almost done with my cocktail. How about another question? If you aren't doing what you're doing now in terms of work, what do you think you would be doing with your life? Well, for me... I didn't necessarily, like, have a plan when I was in college. I was just like, you know, I'm going to get a job in the industry and I'll be fine. And I was working in food service while I was working. And that was a big, that was a big L, right? Right now, taking time off, focusing on my health and, you know, streaming. But if I wasn't doing that, dude, if I was, like, fully healthy, I would be the next Elon Musk. I'm not even kidding. I would be girlbossing so hard. 
Uh, but, like, if I wasn't streaming, I'd probably just be, like, drawing and painting full-time. Honestly. I, I would still want to do something creative. Or, if I didn't quit Subway, I'd probably still be at Subway. I would have peaked at Subway. Which, not ideal, you know? Wait, this is the Scootish song. Okay, well, my cocktail is done. It seems like you guys haven't even touched yours. How rude. My lemonade is gone, so you know what? I think I'll just have some of yours. Okay, I think we're done with our apps. I'm kind of like, I want the full course, you know what I mean? Hi. Hi. And for our main course, we have And for our main course, we have shrimp scampi. I just realized I kept the wrong cut in. Fried clams topped with paprika and parsley. With the clams, a side of honey mustard from restaurant that shall not be named, but it starts with an M. And for utensils, as requested, I have chopsticks, because you don't like any things on your fingers, and then normal pork. For normal people. We also have some freshly grated parmesan. Let me go ahead and top your pasta for you. It's looking good. Go ahead and tell me one. Looking great. And keep tell going. Me one. Oh, this is looking like a lot. More, please. Come on. Oh, that's. Enjoy. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Did I get the wrong cut in? <laughs> Thank you for the six month resub. Holy moly. Thank you, Electra. Can we get some oh, Electras in chat? Thank you. So we have. Fried clams reheated in the oven, topped with paprika and parsley. The shrimp scampi heaping with parmesan. It's, it's, <laughs> it's melted a little bit, but oh my goodness. It looks like shave ice. The wages really said, here we have them walked away. I kept the wrong cut in. Because, like, okay, a little BTS, all the waiter bits I filled right before stream. That way the lighting would be relatively similar. And that way, like, the food would look kind of similar on screen. But, <laughs> so I had to, like, hastily edit it. <laughs> Guys, is this not peak PC content? <laughs> I do have chopsticks. And a fork, un tenedor, it, honey mustard. Honey mustard is the best sauce. It's tangy, it's sweet. Okay, let's get them munching. I'm so scared of tipping my table over. Yay! Oh, wait, cute. If I can grab it. Oh my god, I can't do it. I'm using my fingers. Cute! There's a clam shaped like a heart. Cute! I also purposely burnt the clams because I wanted them to be crispy. 
which is kind of silly to do, but I like the texture. First bite. Fried clams will always be the best fried seafood. They're always crispy. They're a good mix between chewy and not chewy. They're perfect. Also, I don't know why the alerts were so big. Is anybody having lunch right now? I don't think it's 12.15. Also, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if we new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get the email. Enchant. Okay, these have been sitting out for an hour. They're not warm, but they're still crispy. It looks like a Cheeto. I've already had dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine being an EU viewer. Now that we've eaten a bit more, how about we get into our next icebreaker question? If you could change anything about the past, what would you change? I think this question means, like, your past, not the history. Because I'm sure there's a lot of things that we, should, we, we could, like, control Z for the past. But for me, I wish I would have tried to make more friends when I was younger. Like, in middle school and high school. Not to be too emo, but, like, I was so sad when I was younger. Like, I chose to isolate myself a lot. So even if some people did want to reach out, I would usually say no or decline. And looking back, I wish I would have just said yes to more things. You know, more hangouts, more activities. But then I do wonder, like, if I was more sociable when I was younger, would I be where I am now? Maybe I'd have more friends, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? Ew, this is Bowser's Fury. I like how you were jamming before you knew it was from Bowser's Fury. Well, because it's a really nice song. I mean, because I think other creators would play this song all the time. And I didn't know where it was from until I played Bowser's Fury. And then I just don't like it anymore.
You know how someone said I look like Moana in chat the other day? <laughs> Imagine they click on today's stream. Okay, yeah, let's do another question. What is the most valuable lesson you've learned from your past? Not to get too deep, but I think... Hmm. Wait, I, I have a few things. I, th I think the biggest thing is that you have to understand that there will be times where you care more about others than they care for you. So that can be like friends, partners. And I think the biggest takeaway from learning that is you should only put in as much effort as you receive. So if you're giving like 90% into the friendship and they're giving a 10, they're just taking advantage of you. And then vice versa, if you feel like you're not giving enough, then if you want to keep that relationship, you need to be trying harder. More often than not, sometimes you need to be called out on those things. But you shouldn't maintain a relationship if both parties aren't equally contributing. Because then one person is suffering, right? I dropped my clam. Oh! End me. Don't look. <laughs> No lookers. No lookers. I spilled it on my chest. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. That's why I'm like, I'm not a messy eater, okay? I'm not a messy eater. But I always spill on my torso. So whenever I go out to eat, I always wear like lower scoop shirts because I don't want to get sauce in my shirt. I don't know. I'm just a messy bitch. <laughs> Hear this will not be named honey mustard is pretty dang good Hold on. Dang, that was pretty good. Now to try the Parmesan doused shrimp scampi. I made this from the frozen section, and when I bought it on the box, it had a picture of the shrimp in the pasta, right? 
And I was reading the direction, and I was like, no way you just put this in the oven. Like, how's the pasta gonna bake? I opened the package, and it's just the shrimp and sauce. No noodles. So I had to boil my own noodles. I used penne today. That's all I had, because I'm trying to cut out carbs as much as I can, so I don't, I'm trying not to make pasta anymore. <laughs> this mound of garbage. <laughs> now, I'll be honest. Not that I normally get this much parm, but like, I do love a lot of cheese topping. Okay, it's pretty good. This sauce is really oily, though. It was like two-thirds oil in the pot. Okay, it's pretty good. I would like it if it was, like, spicier. Like, a little bit of paprika or red pepper. I think it would go great. I've never had shrimp scampi, but it's pretty good. Maybe it's just all the cheese on it. Oh, wait. Was the chocolates for gifted subs or normal subs? Okay, for the fans, since I got a sub, I'll have a chocolate. Because I just want to try it. And if we, gift, if we get gifted later, that'd be cool. I want to try the matcha. I saw this one online, and I was like, Grandma, please buy it for me. There's been a lot of matcha collabs. Like, in the States, usually, not a lot of people here like matcha. Oh, they look like little Reese's cups. Clean. This is probably hashtag not sponsored. The best matcha chocolate I've ever had. Because matcha chocolate is like usually white chocolate with matcha flavoring, right? And it's either too oily for the white chocolate or too green. But this literally perfect ratio. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Guys, can we get some bits? I want to eat more. <laughs> okay, let's do another question. Ooh, interesting. I know it's bad to talk about an ex on the first date, but, you know. What did you learn most about yourself from your first relationship? Or your most recent one? Uh, plot twist, my first and most recent are the same. I've been single for five years? Dude. Oh my god, almost five years. Uh-oh. So, um, ladies? Anyway. <laughs> I think the biggest thing that I learned from that first relationship, obviously, you're gonna be lovey-dovey and cutesy for the first time you ever have somebody who cares for you that much. But I learned that I was able to be loved. You know, you know, a lot of things happen when you're younger that form your psyche. I'm obviously not going to share on this date today. But I, I had the assumption for the longest time that I was just not capable of being loved or cared for. And things happened that made me think that. 
But after that first relationship, I was like, you know, this stranger can love me and care for me wholeheartedly. Granted, they knew me for a while <laughs> before they said, I love you. But it, it gave me hope. That I was like, you know, someone out there likes me. When it felt like the whole world was against me. I know, I was 18, I was angsty. But I, I thought that for most of my life. And that person made me realize that, you know, I'm special. And that has stuck with me for a long time. I think this is the water park music from Mario Kart. Olive Garden. Should I go today by myself? Maybe I can go with my sister because she's also single, but not ready to mingle. You know the Try Guys videos where he eats the entire menu? I think that'd be a really fun thing to do. But I would die. I don't understand how he does those videos. You want to see how much sauce is at the bottom? Editor, zoom in. You can't really tell from this angle. But it's like two thirds of this bowl is just oily sauce. I think it's because the. Package like a bottle of the scampi is like serving four, but this is one serving. <laughs> and no, I'm not gonna drink the sauce. I have done a mukbang stream before, I did a ramen mukbang last year. Whenever I collab with Emmy, we for sure will do a, a sushi mukbang stream. Lemonade and sour. Jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> I forgot I grabbed napkins. So, how are you guys enjoying the date so far? Do you think you'd fly out again to Peaceons Island? Okay, this is a lot of shrimp tea. There's like 15 shrimp in this bowl. I know I complain about like, there not being enough proteins in pastas, but 15 shrimp is a lot. Whatever, whatever I don't eat, I'll probably like bake it to a fried rice or something.
this feels like <laughs> this feels like the YouTube videos where people are just eating, and it's meant for people who are struggling with ED to like eat along with, which is not like bad, but it just that's the type of vibe I'm feeling right now. Because, like, I might have to start dieting for real. Like, not, like, cutting calories, just, like, being more mindful of what I eat. Because just in general, I think I should start cutting out red meat. Because it, it's obviously more pollutant. And it, it's harder for your body to process. So I'm trying to transition to, like, chicken. But then chicken has a lot of cholesterol. But red beets more so. I'll have a few more bites. Yeah, see all that? That's all sauce. <laughs> it's so oily. You know, this was worth the $5. Okay, so I think I'm done with the main course. I think I'm ready for dessert. I hope the waiter comes soon. <laughs> and finally, for dessert, we have heart shaped macarons, also sourced from Trader Joe's. Enjoy. That will be the end of lunch service for today. Thank you for choosing Peace and Vacations. Tip can be submitted. Of right course, now. really. Thank you. Everybody wants a tip nowadays, huh? How much is this enough? Is this what they want? Take it. I am so rich. I have a private jet and an island. Take this as a tip. <laughs> Guys, it's fake. It's not real. I'm broke. It's fake. Hi, Titans. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Yes, you are seeing double. Hello. Ooh. They had the cutest heart-shaped macarons. I had to buy them. They're so cute. I think these are white and raspberry flavored. The only thing that is like kind of sus is that the goop inside is gray. Why is it gray? Let's we'll see if it's any good. I'm getting like no raspberry, it's just chocolate. This is a pretty good macaroon, though. Or macaron. But thank you, Titans, for the resub. I'm gonna have a chocolate. Let's try one of the regulars. You always see these in the airport. And of course, I had to get milk chocolate. Because dark chocolate is, like, too much. Ooh, these are the best because it has two macadamias in it.
It's so good. Bye, Titans. Bye, Titans. <laughs> But thank you for the chocolate. These take a long time to melt, though. These chocolates, I'll say it, they're overpriced as frick. This has eight pieces. This box is like $10, $12. They really scam it. If you want to make money, all you gotta do is sell food. I'll be honest. That's all you gotta do. And then the money will stop pouring in. Because suckers will pay big dollar for food. Okay, let's do another question. <laughs> okay, one of the questions is, do you want a family? Kids? Pets? I'm a very avid child hater. Kids themselves are funny. Babysitting is fine, but like having a kid 24-7... Um, not for me. No, no. I don't want it. And also, like, if you're a girly, it can drastically change your body. Like, your actual reproductive health, your mental health. There's a lot of postpartum depression in women after they give birth. It's, it's like, not worth it, honestly. But for pets, I would love to have a cat. I don't know how many I'd have because, like, one is cute. But then I would think, oh, he gets lonely, so let's get another one. But then I would see a stray cat and be like, oh, I want to save him. And then I would see more and more stray cats, and then I would just have, like, infinite cats in my home. So I'm just going to keep counting. This is how many cats I want throughout my life. I just want, I want them all. Pokemon, catch them all. <laughs> but, you know, if the relatives have kids, I'll babysit, but I don't ever want to, like, have a kid. Not even, like... I don't think I'm ever going to serve your mother because that's, like, hell expensive. I might consider adopting in the future, but that's a very long process. But I don't know. It's kind of like, I want to focus on myself. I know a lot of people say that, like, oh, it's selfish to not have a kid, but then it's also, like, selfish to, like, have the kid for the wrong reasons, you know? I don't know. I don't want one. Mm-mm. Also, I just realized the trees aren't swaying in the wind. What is going on? Also, the wave's not moving. Huh? Hey guys, you know what? We are an hour into stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a Prime sub available. Yeah, I think we have one, I think we have time for one final question. Describe the perfect day, including the perfect meal. You know, I would have to say that today has been the perfect day, hanging out with you on the beach, enjoying our meal. 
but in general, I think the perfect day for me. Hmm. I've gotten in the habit of going for a walk every morning, and that, like, legit makes my day. So I would go for a walk. Ideally, this was, like, on vacation. So I would walk through, like, this pretty garden. I would see all the bees and butterflies, and that would make me happy. And then, honestly, probably just chill. I don't like doing much. Or maybe, maybe going to, like, a museum or a park. I think that'd be really fun. And then for food... Probably just sweets. I love ice cream. Or, ooh, even better, crepes. There's no good crepe places here in Washington. But I want to go to, like, a Japanese crepe place. The crepes in Japan are so good. I would want to take a jet, fly to Japan, spend all day there, and that'll be my perfect day. <laughs> Okay, well, I had my macaron. You guys need to take yours. And you know what? I think we can wrap up the date here. I think it went very well. I got to know you. You got to know me. We had some good eats. Once again, thank you to the lovely Peace and Island staff. Thank you for your help. I hope you enjoyed the tip. And if it's fake money, if you think that, it's not. It's real. <laughs> So, guys, thank you for coming along with me on this journey today. Hope you enjoyed our little date and spent a little time with me on holiday. I really appreciate that. You know, we're all single and sad, but I hope you, uh, but I hope you had fun today. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. Do it. And if you want to watch live, um, follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. I go live most every day. Okay, thank you. There we go. That was the Valentine's Day date with chat for 2024. Did I raise enough? Did anybody fall for me this year? Okay, so I think I can wrap here for today. Short stream, but honestly, if a date goes for more than an hour, then I think that's kind of cringe and bad. So. Thank you guys for watching. We did get two resubs today. Pog. So let's go ahead and write their names out. Oh, I hate that there. Room is so messy. You guys want to see something wild? It's not real. It's not even a green screen. I got a printout. Isn't that cool? It looks. This was only ten bucks. This is pretty good for ten bucks. It's fake. Nothing's real. Okay, I think Electra's color is like an orange now.
once again, thank you to Mother Electra for the six month resub. That's half a year. Thank you. And for giving me a chocolate. Thank you. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points or subscribe or cheer bits or. Wait, there's nothing else you can do. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming Gold Bubble. Once again, thank you, Titans, for the 21-month resub. That's a long, long time. Thank you for your continued support. Now we're going to do brokies. You know, thank you, Kobobo, for redeeming. Do you have anybody else who wants their name written? You can subscribe, cheer bits, or use your channel points. This is your last call. This is also your last chance to see Hawaiian Peason. Rare Peason. <laughs> okay, the light keeps getting caught in my hair, and I don't like it. Or how about we end off on this note? I'm glowing! I'm glowing! Okay, I think I'll wrap it up here for today. Thank you everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out. This is the final Valentine's Day stream for 2024. Back to normal classic piece and content tomorrow. I think rest of the month Follow through February, so finishing Eastward DLC, Paranormal Site, and Spirit Fair. So if you haven't watched the Paranormal Site VODs, go watch them on the VOD channel. It's a horror game. It's actually very good. And I do full voice acting in it. So go watch the VODs. It's under the playlist Paranormal Site. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Once again, thank you guys for watching the just chatting streams. I know they're a bit unconventional, but you know... I gotta have fun still. I will see you guys tomorrow. Maybe early because I want to crank through the Easter DLC. So just make sure if you aren't already, notifications are turned on. Because only 50% of you guys have Twitch Go Lives turned on. So make sure they're turned on for my channel. That way you don't miss a single stream. If you want more peace in content, an edit of the Valentine's Day date stream from two years ago is up on my YouTube channel. It's called Try Not To Fall In Love With Me and Possible Difficulty. If you want something to watch, go watch that video. It's doing pretty good. So click the link. Watch it now. Okay. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. If you don't have a partner this year, don't worry. I'm sure you can figure out happiness on your own. Or just watch my streams. That should make you happy, right? Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.
Short stream, short stream. I'm also like itching. I am itching to play the Eastward DLC. I was gonna like start a new save file of it offline the other day. But then I was like, what if I discover a recipe that I haven't found in my main file? And then that's just sad. Now I can take these stinking lays off. They're itchy. Ichi ni san shi go roku. Always. Ichi ni san shi go roku. I can't cat past six in Japanese. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.